This lesson is going to be about balanced and unbalanced forces. Your objectives are to be able to identify when forces are balanced or unbalanced by calculating net force. So we will be doing a little bit of ad addition and subtraction problems. Also, to determine when a net force leads to a change in motion. If you remember, forces are represented by arrows, also known as vectors, that show magnitude and direction. Magnitude is the size of the force, represented by a number, and direction is where the force is pointing. Force is measured in newtons. So if you are pushing down on your keyboard, you might use a magnitude of one newton and the direction is down. If you feel really proud after a bike ride and you lift your bike up, it might take a magnitude of 70 newtons because of the weight of the bike and your direction is up. So balanced and unbalanced forces. If you remember, forces occur in pairs, which means two forces at a time. Um, so they could be balanced, which is sort of like saying the same, um, or unbalanced, where they are different. Starting with balanced forces. Balanced forces do not cause a change in motion or acceleration. So an object will not slow down or speed up. Balanced forces are equal in magnitude and opposite in direction. So we don't simply say that they are the same because that would imply that they are going in the same direction. But balanced forces are actually going in opposite. But balanced forces are actually going in opposite directions. So you might have one to the left and one to the right. When you have a balanced force, it's similar to adding um, two numbers that are opposites. So you have a net force equal to zero. In this example, you have two people playing tug of war. You can see that the size or the length of the arrows are the same. So the magnitude is the same, but the directions are opposite. In this example, we have two arm wrestlers, and they are both pushing with the same magnitude force because the arrows are the same length, but they are pointing in opposite directions. Unbalanced forces, on the other hand, um, are when we do get a change in motion or acceleration. We do get a change. So the object might slow down or speed up. It will accelerate. The net force in these examples is not equal to zero. If you can see in the picture, you can see that one player is pushing with a smaller magnitude force against the blue player. So the blue player with the stronger or the larger magnitude force is going to start to look like they are winning. They'll be pushing the other player down. So how do we calculate net force? Net force is the overall force acting on an object after all the forces are combined. So we might take two numbers and combine them into one overall number. When you have two forces acting in the same direction, you add the magnitudes. For example, if you have one force pushing something 10 newtons to the right and you add another force pushing something 10 newtons to the right, overall they add together to get a net force of 20 newtons to the right. When the forces are in opposite directions, you will subtract the magnitudes. As you can see in this example, the opposite directions are because one arrow is pointing to the right and one arrow is pointing to the left. 
and if we have 10 newtons and 7 newtons, we'll subtract them. Overall, 10 minus 7 is 3, so we have 3 newtons, and the larger force is to the right, so overall we will move to the right. Let's do a couple of examples of combining forces. Make sure you add these examples to your notes. First, when you are pulling in opposite directions, as a reminder, you subtract the forces. Four newtons to the left for this orange player here, and 10 newtons to the right for the green player means that the green player is going to win. Overall, the tug of war is going to go in the direction um, of six newtons to the right. That is your net force. Example number two, when you are both working together, maybe you're pushing a ball with a friend, you're pushing in the same direction, you add your forces together. So let's say one player is pushing five newtons to the right and the other player is pushing 10 newtons to the right. What do you get when you add them? A net force of 10 plus 15 or 15 newtons to the right. Another arm wrestling example, we have one player pushing six newtons to the right, the other player pushing six newtons to the left. Um, can you remember? They are in opposite directions. Do you add or subtract? Opposite directions will subtract. 6 newtons minus 6 newtons is a net force of 0 newtons. So in this situation, a net force of 0 means they are balanced. There is no change in motion or acceleration. When the game starts to go in one player's favor, however, they're still in opposite directions, but maybe one player feels a little weak. So they're only pushing with three newtons, while the other player is pushing back with six newtons. Again, we'll subtract because they're still opposite directions. But in this case, six minus three is three. So this player will start to move the other player's arm down with a force of three newtons to the left. This is an unbalanced force because it doesn't equal zero. And that's when you start to see someone start to win the arm wrestling match. Finally, when net force um, comes out to be zero, it doesn't mean that there's no motion at all. There can still be motion. So let's say we have this car moving with a constant velocity. So it's not changing, it's just going happily along 10 meters per second to the right, going along straight. Everything works in pairs. So if the car is pushing 10 newtons in one direction, friction on the road is pushing 10 newtons back. These forces are balanced, right? 10 newtons to the right minus 10 newtons to the left is a net force of zero. And when the net force is zero, your speed or your velocity is constant. There is no change in, in the motion. All right, that's something that's just important to keep in mind. Um, it can still be moving and have balanced forces.